Let's look at the difference between VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. Both are part of the lookup family of functions in Excel. Both functions execute in the same way, except that VLOOKUP will look up values in a column, while HLOOKUP will look up values in a row. So let's look at this example. In this example, you can see a list of members in this table, as well as an area for workshop registrations in this other table. Now the workshop registrations lack some information about the members, like the first name and the last name. But we can complete that information in the registrations table by using the member ID field from the workshop registrations to find the required information from the members table. In this sheet, we're going to use a VLOOKUP. IDs are listed in a column, but in the other sheet, we'll use the HLOOKUP because that same information is listed in a row. All right, the formula is going to look like this. VLOOKUP, and we hit tab. The lookup value will be the member ID, so we click that. And where are we going to look for it? In this table array. The table array needs to include the field where the member ID can be found. It must be on the left. And any value you want to return needs to be to the right of it. So I need to lock the columns in the rows to make sure that the range reference stays fixed. The column number is 1, 2, because I want the first name, which is in the second column. And I want a false for the range lookup because I want the correct member's first name and last name, the right details linked to the member ID. And so it's always good practice after we hit enter here to check what we've got. Member 12658 is Steve, and we can see over on the right that is correct, so the formula is working. I'll double click the fill handle on the corner, and it copies the formula all the way down the column. You can see that it works in all the rows, and again, we can confirm 97424 Tom matches 97424 Tom in the members table. So this looks like it's working. Now let's switch over to the attendees registration sheet where our member info is stored in a row, and we can see how we do the same lookup, this time with an H lookup. So we start typing that in, H lookup. The lookup value again is the member ID, so we click that, but now the table array is in the rows below here. So let's select all the rows that we need. The member ID must be in the first row, but we'll also want to return the first name and last name. So once again, after we have that selected, we lock in the rows, and now the row index number. In which row is the value I want to return? That's the first name, so second row we enter a two, and again, we enter false to get an exact match on the member ID lookup. Otherwise, a true value would give us an approximate match. So we hit enter, and let's check this. Again, 12658 is Steve. We go down to the row, and 12658 is Steve. Looks like it's working. So we double-click the fill handle again on the corner. It populates all those rows, and 97424 Tom. Once again, we can confirm that visually. It looks like this formula is totally working. So you can see why VLOOKUP is more popular than HLOOKUP because more often than not, people store the same kind of data in columns instead of the second example where first it's in a column and then in a row. That usually doesn't happen. But there's always a chance the data you need will be listed horizontally, so it's a good idea to understand how that HLOOKUP works as well. So those are the differences between using the VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP formulas. Hey everyone, this is Dan from GoSkills. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like below, leave a comment, and make sure you subscribe to the channel and get more tutorials in the future.